Kelantan negeri yang cukup tenang. Tidak boleh dibandingkan dengan bandar-bandar besar di Kuala Lumpur. Lah. Here women in Kelantan, they don't just sit doing housework. They they like to be the person who get an income, you know. We have our team. We design. We we do all the cutting and everything ourselves. Ours is made here, made in Malaysia, Kelantan, Samoa, no? <laughs> Seriously, I love Ipoh. Um, I feel that the town is not too small. It's not too big. It's not too hectic. Just nice. Just very comfortable. It's good. When I join here, uh, basically most of the product is our own brand. But today we have many overseas customer. When we starting to invest more in automation, I think it's about five years ago. Our minimum uh, wages increased to about, I think, 900 during that time. Management start to looking for this more automated machine to replace. The Malaysia labor cost is getting higher and higher. So we are no more low cost labor to compete with other countries, especially those uh, in China, India, Vietnam. If we do not go to automation, I think we will cannot complete with them. Formerly, it was all manual machine. If we get a better machine, we can save more time, easier on the worker, you know. When you do by machine, the quality is more consistent compared with the people. Productivity, of course, using um, less people to achieve a higher output. Automations definitely going to work. It's just the cost of actually investing into these machines. They can be really very, very expensive. Whether we have that kind of market, the demand to actually sustain the machine. Malaysia economy is heavily driven by agriculture, manufacturing and services. These are the industries that globally heavily being impacted by Industry 4.0 and automations. Do you like it or not, Industry 4.0 is here and Malaysia have to embrace it and have to catch up with it. Ramai yang cakap, oh kerja kilan ni membebankan. Sebenarnya sekarang, banyak kemudahan untuk me, uh, meringankan beban kerja pekerja. Sebenarnya kerja kilan ni dia tak susah. Sesin mungkin dapat dalam 3 minit 4 minit kalau manual mungkin beberapa hari mungkin automasi tu lebih penting lah pada industri sekarang. Ah sebab saya rasa benda tu boleh menambahkan ilmu dalam diri saya sendiri. Ah yang nanti saya boleh saya akan boleh bawa ke sana sini ah ilmu saya punya ada tu. Ilmu yang uh, dia orang dapat di di alas ni atau di kilang dia bekerja di sini bukannya untuk majikan untuk dia orang, diri dia se sendiri lah itu satu opportunity untuk membangunkan diri lagi. Before that, I think our factory more than 70% is a foreigner. Right now, I think the foreigner 
is about 55%, locker is 45%. Actually, our aim is 50-50 or lesser. I hope I can train up more people to become more skillful and our Malaysia factory can more competitive, can compete with other countries. Automation is definitely disrupting the global, so we must be ready to equip ourselves for the jobs in the future. If we are able to, to embrace and catch up with the Industry 4.0 successfully, um, it then brings the value chain of the manufacturing and services company in Malaysia up and then it will bring the entire workforce to upskill and become a skilled workforce. I believe there's a lot of um, effort from the government end has put into it. There's various schemes, loans and grants um, that's available to support the initial funding for companies to em embark on automation journey. There's a lot of discussions that's emphasising the focus in terms of um, TVET. Unistis um, already start looking into restudying the syllabus to make sure that um, the syllabus is changed and adapt accordingly and preparing our, our students today for the, for the job tomorrow. I think there are a lot more automations we have to work on and these are never-ending self-development. Sometimes it's not just the machine itself, it's also talking about uh, having more R&D people to explore more about the machines and the market demand and putting these two things together. Working hard means to achieve your goal. My workers will stay, they will learn up, use whatever uh, technology you have, new knowledge you can acquire so that we can achieve where we want to go.